Welcome to Collie Biology. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the bones of the axial versus the appendicular skeleton. So we're looking at the articulated skeleton overall. There's a separate video associated with the specific bones of the skull and the specific bones of the vertebra. So I encourage you to take a look at that additional video. Axial skeleton are all of the bones essentially down the midline. So that's going to include specific bones of the skull, specific bones of the thoracic cage, and all of your vertebral bones. In between the individual vertebra is a disc or a pad of cartilage. That's fibrocartilage. They have a special name. They're called intervertebral discs. If you ever heard of a disc becoming ruptured or a slipped disc, what we're talking about are those intervertebral discs. All right, let's start at the superior end. Let's look at the skull. We know the frontal bone, the nasal bone, your zygomatic bone. Upper jaw is your maxilla. Lower jaw is your mandible. We look at the bones of the thoracic cavity, once again, axial skeleton. Down the center, we have the sternum. The ribs are going to come around from the vertebral column and connect to the sternum in one of three ways. And that differentiates our true false from floating ribs. Our true ribs come around the front, and each true rib has its own piece of costal cartilage. So each rib has its own piece. That's a true rib. Some of the ribs come around and they share cartilage, so all of these connect to a single piece of cartilage. Those are false ribs. And then we have a couple of short little ribs at the back which don't connect at all to the sternum. Those are the floating ribs. True, false, and floating ribs. While we're in this zone, let's take a look at some of the appendicular elements. Appendicular skeleton are all the bones of the limbs and the bones that attach the limbs to the body. And in terms of appendicular, for the arm, the pectoral girdle includes the clavicle, clavicle at the front, and the scapula at the back. Those two bones together are going to hold the arm in place. The upper arm bone is the humerus. All right, we've moved down a little bit. Here's the humerus coming off of the pectoral girdle. We have two bones in the forearm. The bone associated with the thumb side is the radius. The bone associated with the pinky side in anatomical position is the ulna. The ulna also makes the point of the elbow. It's a little longer bone. So we think about making the point of the elbow, that's the ulna. And once again, the radius on the thumb side. All of the bones of the wrist are the carpal bones. The bones of the palm are the metacarpal bones. And all the bones of the fingers are your digits, are the phalanges. If we look at the vertebral column coming in between the hip bones, there's a collective term for the hip bones. We call those the coxal bones. But there are three specific bones that you're responsible for that make up the hip. The hip is part of the appendicular skeleton because it's what your leg attaches to. The flare of the hip kind of sticks out. The large portion is the ilium. The ischium bone is what we sometimes refer to as the sit-down bone, because literally as you sit down, you're resting your weight on the curved portion of the hip. And then we have the bones that come together at the front, both from the left-hand side and the right-hand side. They connect at the center. Those are your pubic or pubis bones. Those are all coxal bones, ilium, ischium, pubis bone. They form the hip. Attached to the hip is your thigh bone, very large femur. All right, let's move a little lower. All right, we make our way down to the lower limb. There's our femur. The kneecap is the patella. You have two bones in your lower leg. The larger bone provides most of the support of the weight is the tibia. The smaller bone that's lateral or to the side is the fibula. Tibia, fibula. The bones of the ankle are your tarsal bones. The length of your foot are the metatarsals. And then just like your fingers, the toes are referred to as your phalanges. And that's your skeleton.